Hi, Grandmaster. Why have you summoned me? You're going on a mission to Earth. Why? We want to study humans so that we can possibly trade with them in the future. Cool. Will I be going alone? No, you'll be going with my twin. Cool. This will be a nice adventure. How will we communicate with you? You will be using this pyramid. Okay. Power. Bye. Have a nice trip. <laughs> you too. Okay. This is really going to so stink. Fun. I think your beard is too luscious and amazing for the earthlings to handle. This took me like a week to grow. Yeah, well when we get up to the ship you can use the face follicle retractor to get it off. Jimmy, you can transfer us up to the ship. We're ready. Welcome. Jimmy, I need you to do something with my facial hair. Radical. First, please put on the protective sunglasses. Put on the protective sunglasses. Done. Love it. Radical. Hmm, while we're here, I think I'll change my hair up a little bit. Welcome. I have no opinion. Just something more interesting. This is great. Radical. Thanks, Jimmy. Gratitude is not necessary. Have a great adventure. Okay, goodbye. Aha. Uh -huh. What's with the cape? You got all dressed up. Well, yeah, it's my first expedition. I wanted to change it up but a little if bit. if I had known we were coming all dressed up, I would have changed my cape or my shirt or something. God, you're always stealing my style. I literally just met you. But you're always wearing, like, black and capes and stuff, it's so... cool. Thank you. Let's go. I'm cool. Hello? Why is nobody there? I don't know if it's a thing. It's a being. It must be the dominant species. <coughs> that must be their greeting. greeting. What? Oh, that must be their greeting. Coffee and You milk said it high. too. <laughs> Shall we approach it with caution or just approach it? He's moving through time and space. Without use of legs. Legs. That must be his way of greeting us. <laughs> okay, that's what they do. We should greet him in kind. Let's follow him. Okay. All right, so like me and her, we're twins, right? But you know how most twins are like one is born first and then the other is born after? Like me and her, we were born at exactly the same time. Grandmaster calling Lou up. How are you? Pete, tell her I said hi. I'm good, how are you? Tell her I said hi. Great, great, how are things up there? Yeah, it's just different without you here. Because, you know, there's not as many people. Tell her I said hi. How many are there? Like, three. Tell her I said hi. And you don't even like two of them, I think. Right. Tell her I said hi. Well, things are good here. Mm -hmm. Tell her I said hi. Tell her you said bye? <sighs> Tell her I said hi. Oh, well, gotta go. Bye. 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 No, tell her I said hi. She probably misses me. She said bye. Oh, my gosh. I, I told you you said bye. Tell her I said hi, tell her I said hi, but you weren't even listening, you weren't even paying attention. Time is just a social construct. I keep trying to say hi to my sister, but Luap keeps ignoring me. It's like I don't matter. <coughs> I think what you're trying to say is that I should speak up and let my sister know that I miss her. You humans are very intelligent. 
Where is he even go? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Um, so how is it down there? Did you actually tell her I said hi this time? It's great. You know, they have ice cream. What's ice cream? It's like really cold milk. Okay. Can you tell her to send great, great, great grandma my best wishes? She's being released from prison tomorrow and I won't be there to see it. Milk comes from something called a co. I know. I've read some things. Oh, um, can you tell her to, uh, congratulate great, great grandpa? He just got two, uh, leg implants. So, um, uh, if you're done getting all your information, you can come back soon. Oh, can you ask her if they found my daughter yet? Yeah, but I, I'd really like to stay a little longer. Please come back. You're only a fifth of the population that's ever going to come back. Uh, can you tell her to take my clothes to the laundry, uh, fold them, iron them, and then throw them away? Oh, but let me tell you one thing. These pyramidicoms, it turns out, are enormous. I tried fitting a pyramidicom into my pocket and I ripped my pocket. Okay, just come back as soon as you can. Oh, can you ask her what the heck? Okay, I miss you so much, toots. I miss you too, please come back. Toots. Bye. You know, I've been thinking with my brain. Yeah, very new to that. I think we should be back and like go back. Oh, you're back. Why do you have a dog? Oh, I thought it was a human. How was the expedition? I felt like I didn't even have to go. Luap made me feel like I didn't even matter. You mattered the most because you're the one I miss. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go home. Yes, say. Oh, can you ask her what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Have a nice trip. Cool, this will be a nice adventure. <laughs> what the heck about what? <laughs> Is there anybody else on the planet right now? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, can you ask her what the heck? I think I gotta pee. How bad? Pretty bad. It's filming. <laughs> Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you ask her what the... Okay, <laughs> come on. Wait. One. Two. Three. Oh, can you ask her what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> How's it feeling so far? I could consume a Melvac. I'm starving. <laughs> but Luap keeps ignoring me. It's like I don't matter. Yep. What are you doing? Hmm. Is it poison? <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's so ridiculous.